Salutations all and welcome to Basic Public Speaking. This is the video chat for week four, which are the dates September the 5th through the 11th. Now, the 5th is a holiday, it's Labor Day, so there's no school, so I really hope you all enjoyed your three-day weekend. I know I did. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it. So for this week, the lesson you'll be looking over is in the module folder labeled Speech Topic and Organization. Everything in that module folder is our lesson for this week. So it's gonna seem like a lot, but it all goes together. So that's why it's <laughs> it's clumped together. So we're gonna be going over choosing topic and purpose for your speech, how to properly research your speech, and then just gathering supporting materials. Now, it's broke down pretty easy. So it just discusses in the speech topic and purpose section with all of these folders, all of the documents within this folder for each mini lesson, I guess, is what we'll call it. There is a Word document, a PowerPoint presentation, and video lessons. Now, speech topic and purpose is two separate video lessons because there's one just over picking speech topic and then there's one on creating your speech topic purpose. A quick cliff notes of that is, really choose something that you enjoy because if you pick something that you enjoy or you have knowledge already about it's going to be a lot easier for you to talk about it as opposed to picking something you have zero interest in or zero clue in then you kind of go into it completely new and we want to you want to speak on something that you have a passion for you have a knowledge for you have an interest in you have it's there, you already, it's easier for you to talk and it's a lot easier on you as a presenter, as a speaker, if you choose a topic that you already know. Now, speech purpose, speech thesis, is basically you are creating what you're discussing. So perhaps your speech topic is about the best pizza from a pizza joint. So maybe your purpose is to either determine the best pizza or to tell us perhaps why you think, insert the name of the restaurant here, has the best pizza. Or perhaps you're telling us about your speech topic is over shoe brands. And then your speech purpose is to discuss the history of Nike or Adidas or Puma or Yeezys or insert here the shoe, Reebok, you know, the history, Converse, Vans, or why this shoe is superior to that shoe, or why this shoe is great for this particular sport, whatever the case may be here. Speech purpose is narrowing down your topic. So your topic can be kind of broad. Like, okay, perhaps we're discussing boy bands. Your purpose is to tell us, maybe you're telling us the history evolution of boy bands as we know them today, or perhaps you're telling us why a particular boy band is the best, or maybe you're giving us a specific history to a specific boy band itself. So that kind of gives you the cliff notes of speech topic and purpose. The next is research. Research is pretty straightforward. It, we just, it just discusses, I discuss ways with you, you look at the lessons on ways to research, and there's multitudes. There's Ditto encyclopedias, and then there's internet, and on the main page of Blackboard, there's a link to ACTC Library. I really hope you utilize this link because they've created a service where you can just pick up books. Like, you don't physically even have to go in the building. You just go to a lockbox, and you can pick up information, but you can, and your school has a library as well, where you can get news articles, and you can get um, clippings and books and peer reviews and journals and all this stuff falls in it. And then there's also the internet and we all know the internet can be beautiful but it can also be not so beautiful. So when you're doing internet, if you're using the internet for your research and stuff, really double, triple, quadruple check the validity of your site. Now some sites are pretty straightforward and are valid. Some sites are a little iffy. There's a lot of sites that I could go on and re- <laughs> reconfigure the information given so really double triple quadruple check all your sources and all your information to make sure they're valid and correct and that you're giving us the most up-to-date information on that particular topic or subject that you're researching perfect the last that we follow up with is 
supporting materials. And all that supporting materials is in the concept of public speaking is ways to help support your speech. So this could be surveys or graphs, interviews, quotes, um, questionnaires, all that falls in because it's just showing support. So say you're doing a speech on, we'll go back to pizza. And perhaps you're telling us, trying to figure out the best restaurant pizza. So ways that you can, so you may get information by either, you know, maybe discuss the history of the evolution of pizza from, to what we know it is today. And then maybe you could talk about your top contenders. Maybe you're choosing like three, four or five restaurants. So ways you can do that, you can go to their sites and get statistics and maybe quotes from reviews, or you can talk to people that work in these restaurants. Or you can also set up kind of like a taste test, maybe you and a panel of your buddies. So like, you know, or maybe it's your family, you sit down and you do a blind taste test. You don't tell them what they're eating, but they each have a slice and they're all the same. So like, maybe perhaps you're testing pepperoni pizza and you have a slice from each one. Your panel takes a bite and they judge it. Maybe they judge on the texture of the crust or the, how it's cooked or, you know, ooey gooey cheese ratio, because some pizza pizzas, you know, you take a bite and you have that long gooey cheese come out and some of it's not so much, or maybe it's the choice of cheese or the choice of crust. Some have a plain crust, some do deep, some do thin, some do like Asiago cheese or stuffed crust. You know, there's a plethora to go from, but you don't tell them, they taste and they do their rating. Or perhaps you interview folks, hey, if you were gonna go eat here, 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 where would you prefer to get your pizza from? Da, da, da. And it could be things like people prefer delivery or they want the dine-in experience or they want some place they can go through a drive through and pick it up or carry out. There's all kinds of things, but that's where supporting material comes into. So this last week's lessons is over choosing speech topic and creating purpose slash thesis for your speech, various ways to research, and then various ways to gather supporting material. I know that seems like a lot, but it all goes together. So it's all gonna kind of flow. There will be an assignment this week. It's not a speech, but it's a, um, just a little kind of assignment. And I'm gonna do a separate video discussing it, but a little heads up on this assignment is that you are going to, sorry guys, I'm outside and it is crazy humid this morning because of the rain. Mm. You're gonna write down just give me three speech topics. I don't care what they are. If you want to, I just want it based off of your interests and hobbies and knowledge. So it could be, I don't care the genre. It could be informative, celebratory, persuasive, whatever. If you want to do, if you want to write down, use my pizza one, or you want to do the best tire brand for a car, or perhaps you want to tell us about the best brand of golf clubs, or maybe you want to tell us about the best makeup or perhaps you want to tell us how to create a winged look or how to make a shirt or tell us the history of Abraham Lincoln or <laughs> tell us about the ancient Mesopotamian civilization or you want to talk about Elizabeth Bathory or you want to talk about a particular book series or a film series or TV, whatever, the, whatever you enjoy. So you're making a list of three speech topics. I don't care the genre, you're just creating a list. And there'll be a home for you to turn this list into. And it will be due Sunday by midnight on September the 11th. And again, I'm going to make a separate video discussing this. Anyway, folks, so this week, look in the module folder. Sorry, I have notes over here. Look in the module, module folder, folder, excuse me, labeled speech topic and organization. Everything in that folder is for this week. So there'll be like three mini lessons is what we're going to call them but they all have Word documents and PowerPoint presentations. And there's a total of four previously recorded videos that I have done over these lessons. So my hair will be a different color and my makeup will look different. The beauty of previously recorded and ever-changing hair color. My, you will see a plethora of hair colors throughout this semester with my video lessons. Anyway, folks, I have, oh yeah, and your speeches are graded and up. So if you go check and you don't have a grade or something, just hit me up, I try I'm having to check a lot of different areas to insert the grades. So just let me know if you think I've overlooked yours or something and we will check it out. Anyway, I hope they have an amazing week and that your three day weekend was recharging and you got a good reset for this week, for week four. 
if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to me and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Have an amazing week, folks. Bye.